I just want to show you how to use this uh, rig, uh, character rig. Um, so here you have the provided animation when you buy this asset. Um, so it's just a simple walk, okay. Um, and you can first of all just um, play play it and try different things um, by using the mixer uh, window. So first of all, um, if you want to open the helm, you can use this, okay, while playing. Um, you can decide to show or not the, the helmet. Okay, um, then you can, uh, if you want, um, add uh, the wand of the, the character. Okay, um, you can also um, activate uh, the, the mace. Or if you, if you prefer, you can choose uh, to have the, the claymore, which is a more massive weapon if you want to have a uh, heavier look. Um, then if you want you have a, a little layer uh, to add more life to the character. Okay, you n you're not forced to uh, use it at maximum um, opacity. Okay. Um, I put it um, under the wand, uh, the wand one. But if you want, you can uh, um, play with this and, and try to see what uh, what happened. This layer is a additive one, so um, every action uh, that are made on this one will uh, impact what's beneath. Um, okay. Okay, so now let's just have a look at um, what you can do on, on this character. So let's create a new animation um, like this. Name it um, posing, for example. Okay, so here um, you have the, the, the basic character. So. You've got the IK, okay. So the right arm uh, controls um, at the moment the, the weapons. Since we do not have a, a space switching feature uh, at the moment in um, in Akitsu, I I choose to to link my weapons to to my uh, wrist. But um, I may update this file um, when when Akitsu will. Um, we'll have the space switching, so uh, all the weapons should just belong to the root instead of the wrist, and this way you, you could just swap uh, hands um, on the fly. So um, each weapon can be bent if you want. You have several joints uh, inside of them, and you can uh, flip flap them. The mace um, has a little um, uh, wings here. You can open uh, if you want to add more impact to your um, your attacks. Okay. Um, the sword is just about. Uh, curving the, the blade. It's it's useful if you want to have um, more living movements. 
but if you don't want, you are not forced to do this there. Um, same goes for the wand. Okay. Um, here, if you want to make the character drink potions, uh, you have you have potions. Okay. Um, with a uh, liquid mesh uh, inside of them. Um, the mesh itself has a um, different material, so you can use a, a different one in Unreal or Unity if you want to simulate uh, liqui liquid inside of it. Um, it's up to you. Um, okay. Then uh, about uh, the, the the rest of the character, you have um, pretty basic stuff uh, like a pelvis, uh, stomach, okay, um, spine, etc., etc. Et okay, um, this guy follow the, the pelvis. Okay, so if you want to move uh, the scrolls. You can uh, first move the pelvis and then move your scrolls. Then um, each scrolls are attached to a joint, so you can animate them separately. You can also animate this little um, uh, strip if you want. Um, you can also move this, this part, this part, a little very little uh, piece here which adds uh, more life to the character um, you can also move the, the armor okay so if you want to to add secondary motion it's uh, it's completely possible um, you have this this okay um, and um, in the hand, uh, you can move this protection, and you can also move. I mean, rotate these little claws if you want to. I don't know, maybe uh, make some scratches with this. You can. Uh, these mesh are separated from the the, the base uh, uh, mesh of the the hand, so you can animate the, those. Um, then um, you have three joints per um, finger, so you can quickly pose one, Oops. Um, like so, for example, and pass your pose over any of these joints. So this makes posing your hands pretty easy. Um, you have twist joints here, here also, um, and each of these um, shares the same position um, than the, the following joints. So you can actually turn your wrist plus your uh, your twist, and it's. Uh, turns together so it's, it's pretty easy, easy to, to manipulate. Um, same goes for the leg. Um, you've got this, this, then the twist, okay. You've got some joints here and here if you want to animate the, this part in addition to the rest. Uh, I've added a um, leaf joint also for the tiptoe if you want to animate this since the reverse foot doesn't allow to, to go this far um, you can animate this part as well this, this, okay um, for the twist uh, if you take a look at the picker they are placed just at the extremity, uh, extreme parts of the, the hierarchy. So above the thigh, I've got the twist of the thigh, and beneath the, the calf, I've got the twist of the calf. 
so it's make uh, this make just pretty easy to, to select your, your twist like I want to have the, the side twist I just click on the, the knee or the, 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 the lower part of the thigh and I select the upper row uh, to just select it so it's pretty easy um, then uh, you can also animate uh, the backpack if you want so the same goes for the scroll this little part okay um, you can animate also this little thing here you can animate the, the potions if you want to you know do this and then you can also move a little um, the volume of the, the bag if you want to simulate some physics manually um, and I guess that's everything for the base part for the clothes um, you have two layers of clothing the first one is pretty simple you have a center hierarchy here then two joints that splits for the, the splitted part you have then two sides here and here okay four joints per side and then the second layer um, has the same logic uh, except for uh, these parts which are separated so uh, this one is pretty close to, to this one so if you animate your clothes you can copy and pass your keys uh, over this part and then adjust a little this part and copy past it to this part and then mirror everything to the other side so uh, the clothes can seem pretty complex but in fact it's quite easy to animate you just, you just have to animate the center and one side and then do some copy past adjustment and, and that's it um, then for the, the, the upper part um, you have a helmet okay which can be animated uh, several ways like you can open up this part close this if you want to have a um, really well protected um, character you can animate uh, the little wings as well if you want you can open this part like so okay then you have some joints for the air parts so since these one are the most um, uh, relaxed uh, hairs uh, I decided to just rig and skin uh, these ones um, with a few joints other just have you know a, a little joint and that's it you have a master joint if you want to scale down uh, the hairs okay for example if you want to put the helmet on uh, like uh, this and you want to scale down the hair you can do this like uh, like so um, the head joint just let me pick it and all the following joints um, are not compensated so it means you can do actually squash and stretch over your whole head like so so it's really cool if you want to to animate your, uh, your your face and more than this if you activate your joint you won't see uh, the whole hierarchy because it's useless to do this uh, all you will see is um, the uh, control joints uh, which are not skin um, so you had uh, the control fly this one is uh, basically a joint that just came between the root 
and double this. So you can rotate your character around this one. And um, if you are making um, uh, flip jumps and backflips and this kind of stuff where the, the center of mass is not uh, inside the pelvis, um, you can use these joints to rotate the character uh, um, the most accurately uh, possible. Um, you have also these joints which controls um, all the little uh, lips joints so you have upper lips and lower lips okay so depending on how you use them how you combine them um, you can uh, you can do Pretty everything you, you would like with a, a facial rig, with just these two, two guys. If you want to tweak the shape of your mouse, you can go um, joint by joint, but most of the time uh, the, these two joints should do the job. So, yeah, use them as you want. Um, you can also move the nose, the tip nose, uh, the nostril, right, left are separated. Um, you have also a angry uh, joint if you want to raise the, 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 the skin here, okay, the flesh. Um, you have a little, uh, two little joints here and here, in just in case if you want to um, do extreme uh, difference over your face, over your topology. These are here to um, allow uh, some local relax. Uh, for instance, if I want to move my lip here, I have some overlaps there. So by moving this joint, I can kind of relax this and keep the same um, big smile. Okay. Um, then you have also a jaw. Okay. So you can open up the, the mouth of the character. Um, you have uh, joints for the, um, the eyebrow, so you can globally move them like so. You can move them um, like this so if you want to add more details more curves um, that's possible just select the part you want to edit and, and go um, then you have your um, upper lid uh, lower lid joints okay so you can just by using the rotate x x sorry uh, you can open or close your uh, your eyelids. If you select um, both eyelids, you can open your eye or close it. And if you right click on this and this, you will select also the child um, center lids of both eyelids. And then you'll be able to close your eyes a bit more um, properly. Okay, so if you start from the base, there you have a nice closing of your eyes. Okay. The center leads are here if you want to change the A-frame shapes. Okay, so when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're bored, your A shapes may, ch may change a little. So. This can add more emotion to your character, so use it um, if you can. Uh, here you can um, expand or uh, uh, compact your uh, your um, pupil. 
then by clicking on the eyes you can move the eyes okay and also you can combine this with your no, eyelids if you want to have a little movement okay like for example um, you want to do this so of course this looks bad and this looks not natural but if you extract what you've done on another layer and diminish the, the layer okay you have a believable movement of your your eyelid so it's it's quite easy to animate if you want to have something cool okay just remember to to grab your lids uh, center lids um, when you animate your eyes okay um, then if you want to to go even faster to your uh, facial expression you can uh, use the, the these um, lower joints uh, in the eyes so just by using the scale the tune scale over it this will scale um, the half upper part of the face okay so it's pretty cool when you make in between and such kind of stuff or you want to make a board a character it's just really handy to, to do so, so. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, yes, uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy using this rig. Um, just to, to be fair with you, it's not a character I made for a video game um, in mind. Uh, it can be used in uh, a prototype of a video game. You know, or, or, like some stuff like so but um i probably made this um primarily made this so uh just to to have a, a cool um character to play with um at some point so uh, it's more uh, a, a training character so it has a lot of features to animate it's it's not something really easy to to, to dig in. Uh, to be honest, if you if you are starting animating uh, with Akitsu, uh, I wouldn't recommend to start by using this character, since it, it it can seem it can seems pretty hard to animate this. So start with basics, and um, at some point, if you want to, to just have fun with a character with many features. Uh, use it use this one um, of course it's you you have a mace a sword a, a wand you can do a lot of stuff with this so so yeah if, if you can uh, if you can use it if you can animate it if you want at some point uh, train with it it's, it's it's a good it's a good thing um, and the character was made for that. Um, okay. Um, so that's it. Um, sorry for the, the the length of the the, the stream um, of this video. And um, if you have questions, um, feel free to to reach me out. Um, and I, I, I will try to, to help. Um, the character would be provided just with uh, the walk, so it's not a um, kind of uh, ready to go uh, in uh, in your engine uh, character kind of. But um, but you can animate uh, the. Uh, other parts if you, if you really want to try out um, I, don't quite, I really encourage you to, to do so 
and maybe at some point um, uh, I will add more animations to it so um, don't know for free maybe not probably yes but I, I don't know and I don't know when I will add uh, such animations because I want to make more characters so I will see if I if I want to take the time to, to do them and deliver them so we'll see um, okay so see ya